This is the story of the history of Neptunus. During the night of October 26, 1935, a violent storm swept across the north of the Netherlands. Anton Eilers was the son of Bernard, who was a sailmaker and ran a wholesale business in haberdashery and leather goods. Anton went for a walk as he often did. There he finds something that will change the rest of his life and also that of the Eilers family. Beachcombing was strictly forbidden at the time, and it was impossible to open the chest. The chest was also too heavy to carry home, so he decides to hide it in the dunes and come back for it later with friends.
It is an army tent. We cannot know for certain whether Anton realized this would change his life. It wasn't until much later that Anton decided to erect the tent and throw a party in it for his friends. He lent the tent to friends a few times and then decided to rent it out. Anton meets his wife Dora in The Hague, and they move to Nijmegen. Here, Anton registers with the Chamber of Commerce. He plans to use his knowledge and continue in the footsteps of his father. The name? Sailmaker Neptunus, named after the trident depicted on the chest. 1939, Venlo, the Netherlands. In the vicinity of Venlo, there are lots of transport companies and farms, the perfect place to sell his sails. Neptunus opens a new place of business and immediately prospers. Nineteen forty, World War II started and the war disrupts things. As a child, Anton had attended a German boarding school and it turns out that he is still registered as a German citizen in the population register. He is quickly initiated into the German Wehrmacht and in 1942 he disappears for a few years with the army to France where he deserts and joins the French resistance. 1945. The Netherlands are liberated. The war is over. Anton is persistent and starts building up his business again. Within no time at all, the business is doing well. After the war, there's a considerable shortage of accommodation for things like exhibitions and parties. Only a few chimneys were left standing. The army tent proved a source of inspiration for the future. 1953. Tents were erected everywhere, even in Germany. Unfortunately, all his possessions were seized there. They said it was because he smuggled butter. The family knew better, but the business was back to square one. Anton refuses to admit defeat and sets to work again. The 60s. Social life in Limburg picks up and very soon there is hardly any village in Limburg where a Neptunus tent has not stood. 1969. Anton's son Hans officially joins the company. A logical step because Hans has been helping behind the scenes since he was 15. In this period, the company moves to Kessel. 1971. The history of Neptunus is not without setbacks. The Eilers family is faced with a terrible blow. A fire destroys everything. But again, persistence overcomes defeat. Neptunus cheerfully picks up the pieces and moves to a new location in Kessel on the River Maas. 1975. A world first. Neptunus develops a double-decker tent. Nowhere else in the world has there ever been a tent with two stories. Neptunus opens its first branch abroad in Belgium. A third country is added. Neptunus opens in Germany. Neptunus grows at a rapid pace. The French branch opens for business. Neptunus also gains a foothold in the United Kingdom. Nineteen ninety one, Saudi Arabia. Neptunus builds forty thousand square meters of halls along the borders of Iraq for the U.S. Army. Nineteen ninety five, USA. Neptunus makes a detour to the U.S., but quickly decides to return to Europe. Nineteen ninety six, 
Neptunus rises to new heights and is the first company in the world to build a tent with three stories, the Triple Decker. 1997, Eurotop, Amsterdam. The Prime Ministers of Europe come to Amsterdam, the President of the Eurotop. Neptunus provides the accommodation and builds in the middle of the Dutch capital. 1999, Wrocław, Poland. Neptunus opens a subsidiary in Poland and starts developing the evolution. This will mean that Neptunus is no longer a renter of tents, but a developer and renter of demountable buildings. 2002, a new product is born, the demountable building. This new structure is welcomed with open arms, robust, chic, and weather resistant. Neptunus keeps conquering Europe and adds a branch in Austria to its list. 2010. Neptunus takes another step forward and introduces the Flex Solution, a semi-permanent building that fully meets European legislation and, of course, also the Dutch Buildings Decree. Neptunus starts the construction of a completely new office with storage facilities, ready for occupation in November 2012. 2012 London, United Kingdom. Fresh in the memory, a fantastic project is the construction of several structures at the Olympic Games this summer in London. 2012, Kessel, the Netherlands. Today, now 75 years later, it all started with one person, and from generation to generation, we have become a company with around 250 professionals. Often there are more, because flexibility is a typical characteristic of Neptunus, just as decisiveness. Today, the third generation is at the helm, with the fourth in tow. And all this is thanks to that old, mysterious chest, washed up by the violent storm on October 26, 1935.